I believe that architecture today is more about this kind of combined um, experience of interior architecture, graphics, branding, it's everything. I think you know that environmental design is a good fit for you when you know that you don't exactly love architecture, you don't exactly love industrial design, you don't exactly love graphic design because you love them all. The biggest difference between environmental design and architecture is that in architecture, you design from the outside in. We sort of design from the inside out. Who is the brand? What are the activities? What needs to be designed so that when somebody experiences it, it's really meaningful. The attraction of our department is for young creatives who say, you know, I like the big picture. I want to be impactful. And essentially, I want to design the idea that drives the project. I see environmental design as like one of the most powerful forms of design to tell stories and make messages to people. And leading somebody through a space in an exhibition that goes up and down in one weekend, moves sites to another place, really has you know, a potential impact on people. How does the design make a person feel? You usually want to create a sense of comfort, a sense of elegance, or a sense of luxuriousness. We try to help them actually use their interests to uh, create great design. I always judge the students' work as if uh, we were presenting it to our clients and we really challenge them to do as best they can. The goal of making work that's of professional quality, I think tends to push the students along further in their education. In today's world, things are changing continuously. And if you really aren't working in the business, you don't know what those changes are. We've got them literally in virtual spatial design, where they're designing cities of the future, cities of the past. They're designing spatial experience inside games or movies. They may be working in designing the interiors of airplanes, trains, because the human experience, it's a mobile space. Our faculty is really on the forefront of what's happening. They're in it, they experience it, they share with us the good and the bad. You really get an opportunity to sit down with this working professional, talk about your project, talk about the world and the experiences that they have and how that can pertain to your project. And if you're teaching global designers, that means you got to pack them up and go out into the world. The Satellite Studio in Berlin is an important one for us. We've done 10 projects with Tokyo, with Tom Art University. We just really look at where are opportunities to do things that are impactful, to have our students literally explore sort of outside their comfort zone. There's so many opportunities that come out of environmental design design that you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do. If, you know, after 10 years in one career of doing that, you can morph it and change into something else because of the specific skill sets that we've learned here. I really don't know where else I would be at other than Art Center given that fast-paced, you know, driven, dynamic environment that, you know, they create here at school. For a relatively short period of time in your life, the impact is life-changing. You think differently, your skill set builds, your ability to communicate grows exponentially. You may come in as a creative person, but when you leave, you leave as a creative force.